Once again, what's going on everybody? My name is Christopher. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching the content. The only thing I ask and appreciate is that you like the video. So this next story might not speak to current times as much, um, but coming off the heels of people not making as much money as they're used to making, how much money can people make in Germany to begin with? In this next article from I Am Expat, the article begins with, where in Germany do you earn the most and the least amount of money? So let's begin. Where in Germany do people command the highest salaries? Which are the best paying jobs? What is the wage gap between East and West Germany? And where is the gender pay gap the greatest? Apparently this is from 2019. Every year, the online careers portal, uh, gehalt.de analysis vast amounts of data on salaries in Germany. The 2019 salary atlas surveyed more than 490,000 individual data points to put together a series of rankings. All right, so let's, so let's look at the best paid jobs in Germany. You can see if your job is on this list. So number one, as of 2019, if there's a more current survey out, I'll look for it and maybe I'll, I'll put it down in the description. So number one in Germany, a senior physician, which can net around 115,317 euros. So anybody out there in the medical field that wanna see if you can get the highest earning salary, look towards being a senior physician. Mergers and acquisition specialists, up to 99,635 euros. Fund manager, 83,641 euros. Medical specialist, which is obviously right in the field of medical, up to 80,722 euros. A key account manager, 75,671 euros. A regional sales manager, 74,528 euros. Actuary, I don't even know what actuary is. If you guys know what actuary is, put it down in the comments so I know. I don't know what that is, but you can make 71,000 euros from it. A sales manager, 67,699 euros. Security trader, 64,784 euros. And a business developer, 62,551 euros. Now, I wonder if any of these are transferable. I wonder if someone is coming from another country with different credentials, if Germany would accept their credentials in these spaces to allow them to, to practice these jobs. But with that, we're going to take a look at the worst paid jobs in Germany. And I bet I know a bunch of these. All right, worst paid jobs in Germany. Let's read this real quick. At the other end of the scale are kitchen workers in restaurants and hotels, which according to this year's Atlas, earn some of the lowest salaries of all. The median salary in this type of profession is almost 90,000 euros less than that of senior doctors. Okay, depending on what these are, I mean, yeah, that's to be expected. The other occupations with the smallest salaries are as follows. A kitchen worker, 21,907 euros. Now, I wonder if that includes all kitchen workers, fast food workers, dine in more fancier places uh, and things like that. Pop-up spots, I wonder if that includes all kitchen workers. A hairdresser, 23,202 euros. A waiter or waitress, 23,619 euros. These salaries are all significantly smaller than the high pay, paying jobs over on this list. A call center worker, 25,200 euros. A receptionist, 25,372 euros. A cashier, 26,572 euros. A cook, again, I wonder if this is any kind of cook. Lower chain restaurants on up to the big fancier places. I wonder if that matters. A dental assistant, 27,993 euros. Uh, a carer, I guess that's someone who cares for people or something. 28,000 euros and a commercial driver. And I guess that's for buses and things like that. Buses and trains maybe. 28,436 euros. Hmm, if any of these is your dream job, Kudos to you, shoot for the stars. But there you have it, the salaries that you can make in each of these categories. Um, let's read this real quick. Hessians command the highest wages. It's not just industry that has an effect on one's salary, as the Atlas makes also clear, it also depends on which federal state you live in. Generally, employees in the southern states take home more money than their northern and eastern counterparts. But the overall highest wages are commanded in Hesse. Who's from Hesse? Anybody from Hesse? y'all make the most money. Stuttgart is the most attractive state capital. That's interesting. 
Of all state capital cities in Germany, Stuttgart stands head and shoulders above the rest with a wage level of 124 percent of the national average. The city's strong aerospace and automobile industry keeps salaries high. It is also closely followed by Munich at 124.4% and Dusseldorf at 117.7% and Wiesbaden at 115.6%. So just even looking at this, Stuttgart is doing well because of its automobile and aerospace industry, which there's also U.S. military there, so that probably helps with that. Um, and also Wiesbaden, there's U.S. military there too probably helps with that too if you missed that video the bottom of this list is entirely made up of state capitals in east germany schwerin capital of mecklenburg vorpermern comes 16 with a wage level of 78.3 percent of the national average potsdam ranked 15th and Erfurt 14th both with similar percentage levels. The wage gap between East and West is shrinking. In the past two years, the salary gap between East and West Germany has gradually narrowed. The gap is now 23.9%, and that's 1.3% smaller than in 2017. The gender pay gap is biggest in Bad Württemberg. The study also looked for the first time at what is known as the unadjusted pay gap between men and women, which does not take other variables like working hours into account. This data showed that overall, the gap is currently 22% in favor of men. Bad Württemberg clearly has plenty of ground to make up when it comes to gender equality because it has the largest gender pay gap in the country. A whopping 26.5%, the smallest gap, 16.4%, is to be found in the northeastern state of Mecklenburg for Pomerne. That doesn't mean that there's an inequality there. It just means that right now, more men are doing the jobs. Maybe women don't want to do the job. That's, that's something else. I'm not going to get into that. But there you have it. Jobs that you might want to look into if you're on your way to Germany and qualify for. And maybe jobs that you can get while you're here, while you climb up into those nicer, higher paying jobs. But for now, it looks like Hessians have all the money. So, hey, Hessa, is there anybody out there looking for to take in a struggling YouTuber? Holla at me.